Hi fellow maker fiends and welcome to 13 Days of Horror. Today I'm going to show you how to do a image transfer onto a t-shirt or a vest. And I am doing a vintage sort of distressed look and a standard one. I printed these off on a colour printer on standard A4 paper. And I'm now distressing this image here which is of course Drew Barrymore playing Casey Becker in Scream, my favourite film. I'm taking a lighter and I'm doing this over the kitchen sink with the water running just in case it sets on fire and there's any kind of accidents I'm doing this and being safe. If you're going to do this please do this in a safe area and with adult supervision if you're under the age of 16. There's always a risk when you are using a, f a naked flame. Okay, I've found the perfect placement for the image now. Now we're going to cover the image with the image maker paste. So I'm just going to pop that out on there and then I'm going to use some um, paper towel and I'm going to rub it in. You want to get good coverage on your image. I'm going to Move it over and just pop it over here. This is quite messy. You want to make sure that you cover all of your image equally. But with this one, because I've distressed the edges, if there were a few gaps it wouldn't matter too much. But that is the image completely covered. Now we're going to come back over to the vest. And I'm going to place it on the front. And then you just want to flatten it down. So the second vest I'm using is from River Island. It was in a sale. And it's a crop vest. And you want to place something underneath when you're doing your design because you don't want it to transfer to the other side of the fabric. With that there we can take the image which we have thoroughly pasted so that you can see there's a very thick layer of the white paste over the front of there and then you want to place it on the front and then you want to make sure that it's perfectly flat out and then it recommends that you use a rolling pin here, but I'm just actually going to use a bottle. So taking a rolling pin, you want to roll over the design to make sure that it is perfectly flat to the material. And then the gel recommends that you leave this um, stage of the process for around four hours to make sure that the paste has completely dried. So we'll leave that now and we'll come back to it later. Okay, this has now been on for four hours and we're now going to take some water in a sponge and we're going to wet the back of the transfer. And apparently it says that it should sort of start like sort of dissolving the paper. And as you can see that is happening there. Because now the image has transferred. So we're just taking away the residue. It's actually transferred quite nicely I can see so far. Hopefully the rest of it looks quite as good as that. Oh, lovely. So 
So as you can see, it's actually coming out really, really nice. I'm so impressed with how well this has turned out. So just applying a little bit of pressure so that I can push the paper away. There's just So you basically, with the cloth, you just wet that paper so that it's ready just to come off. Um, it's just basically the backing because the coloured part, which was the ink, that is actually transferred onto the paper. Just like a feet haven't transferred quite so well in a part of a hair, but other than that, I mean, I think that looks absolutely amazing. It's actually transferred really, really well, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, there we go. So that is what it looks like. So I've got to let that dry now. Now what it does recommend is that you take some more of the image maker after you've actually taken the paper back and off and you actually smear this across the image and leave it to dry overnight and that is just to seal the image in but basically it is as you've seen that is like the finished article so this helps seal it and it recommends you don't wash for 72 hours from that point. So I will dry that and then leave it for a good couple of days and then I'll wash it. So now we're going to move on and we're going to do the other one which is the one I'm most nervous about. Um, yeah, I didn't do this exactly right at the beginning so I am kind of hoping that this is still going to come out okay at the end. So basically you've just got to saturate the back of the um, picture get it good and wet and then you just sort of apply some pressure and then the paper will start to basically fall to pieces as you can see now what I did with this I did so there you can see the image is starting to come through So here are the finished articles, they're just drying on the line. I'll step back. So that's the crop vest with Elvira on. Looks amazing. And then I pressed really hard on this one to give it a distressed finish to match the outsides. So it's actually got bits missing, which I think looks really great. I kind of wish it hadn't took away quite so much of my face there, but never mind. Um, I wanted it to have that kind of distressed, very worn look. I think that looks really good. I'm really, really pleased with them and how they've turned out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.